we're seeing this in Haiti, real charities that actually really do give most of the money to the people are being demonized by the big establishment charities. This is all part of the racket. And uh, he was going to give a few other examples. We ran into that break. A European Union member of Parliament from England, Godfrey Bloom, is our guest. And I'm shifting gears into your phone calls and a ton of other news and what just happened in Massachusetts uh, last night with the election of Mr. Brown. Finishing up your uh, point, Mr. Bloom. Uh, yes, indeed. Just very quickly, uh, and sorry to be parochial for the Brits, this one really, um, uh, every charity, uh, there are very few major charities that haven't been infiltrated. It's very difficult to get the information, but if you press and press, you can find out who funds them and where it comes from uh, if, you, if, if you ask for it. But you have to be persistent. So we know that charities have been in, uh, in, 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 infiltrated. Um, we also, as an interesting one, just to finish up on, which is something that uh, you won't know and uh, the Brits won't know, um, Baroness Ashton, uh, who is the new foreign minister for the European Union, uh, was a member of uh, the campaign for nuclear disarmament, which of course we know was partially funded by the Soviet Union in the 70s and the 80s. Uh, not only did some of the money go missing, that nobody can actually find, when she was treasurer, uh, she's now calling the shots on, on matters of foreign policy. And this is something I bet nobody knows, that it is now European Union policy to, uh, to acknowledge the domain of China over Tibet. We have given up now on Tibet. Tibet has been recognized as being a Chinese province. Uh, and that was virtually under the crosswords in our press. Nobody in England actually knows about that. Uh, it came out on a no news day underneath the crosswords. Uh, the City of London uh, is going to be regulated now. The top regulator of the City of London, which is, um, you know, the equivalent of Wall Street. You know, we've got enough clout in London. It's the only thing we do which is as big as you have over there in the United States is a Frenchman, a very charming, very urbane Frenchman, Monsieur Barnier. But he doesn't believe in the concept of dealing in commodity trading. He doesn't believe in selling forward or selling short. He doesn't believe in hedge funds. Uh, you know, he's, he, he's another dyed-in-the-wool socialist. So we can look forward to most of those industries which have been in the city of London moving across to places like Zurich. And, 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 and they're still asleep in the city of London. They still don't know this is happening to them. You couldn't invent it, Alex. Unbelievable. Well, we've got to have you back just on common purpose because I get calls and emails constantly about it. And uh, they're just have totally taken over society because government knows it has to control the local community. And that's what Obama is, is a big community organizer with the Chicago model. And what's happened to you under common purpose and a few other groups is now happening here. I mean, it's been happening, but now it's getting really bad. We just had the Austin Police Department go in and intimidate and shut down the oldest gun show in Central Texas with no law, no nothing. They just intimidated it to close and intimidated the landlord to shut it down. And they're in the newspaper bragging how they did it, saying, you know, they're protecting the citizenry. I mean, it's just a lawless government that just does whatever it wants. Sir, I really appreciate you spending so much time with us and continue your great work uh, there in the parliament uh, fighting these people. Thank you so much. and a great pleasure to be invited on again. Thank you so much. Take care, ladies. Uh, take care. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Godfrey Bloom, uh, European Union uh, member of parliament from England. Okay.